これはポップコーン What the fuck? ど,どこから Are you gonna share that? How's it going, folks? My name is Sin, and welcome back to yet another Omenako no Naku Crony. We're still within episode 6, Dawn of the Golden Witch, but we are nearing its end. As always, the playlist link is down in the description below, as well as a link to my Twitter for any updates that might revolve around future videos and such, and a link to my Patreon. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, there is also a new tier for those who would like to vote on future Let's Plays and playthroughs like visual novels or AAA-styled games. Anyway, there we go. Done with that, let's go ahead and begin this video. I believe we left off there. Yes, we did! It has been a while since I last recorded. I'm still not feeling well, but I feel somewhat okay to do a short recording right now, so... Anywho, I'll shut up and read. A dreary breeze blew through the garden. Shannon and Cannon had already finished walking 19 steps, their backs still facing each other. When the demons conducting the trial gave the signal, they would both turn and settle this. Each had one of the dueling pistols given by the demons in their hands. The bullets promised certain death no matter where on the body they hit. This duel would not end until one of them died. <laughs> George and Jessica just quietly watched the ones they loved. They had already entrusted all of their thoughts to them, as well as their fates. Just watching over their parent, uh, partners excuse me, was now the only way they could show their trust. Oh, this is new. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Shannon and Kanon stood quietly, with their backs turned. They had already set aside the feelings they'd built up during all those days they'd known each other. The next time they laid eyes on the other, nothing would be asked of them except pulling the trigger. The only one who still couldn't muster any determination or resolve towards this duel was Bito. The closer that moment came, the less she understood. The love between George and Shannon wasn't standing in the way of the love between Jessica and Canon, or vice versa. Why, when both sides could find happiness, were they being forced to kill each other? Literally, because of those fucking pauses! <laughs> Always get me! <laughs> セパルさん、フルフルさん、どうしてこんなこんな血統、こんなの恋の試練じゃない。やっぱりあなたたちは悪魔なんです。どちらかの恋人たちを破綻させて、それを見て喜びたいだけの悪魔なんです。静かに。
実の兄弟のように仲良しだったあなたたちがどうして殺し合わなくちゃいけないの私にはどうしてもわからない Everyone should have been able to hear Beto's wet eye、uh, yell. However, no one's expression changed. So, you could kiss it. しかし彼らは2人と2人それぞれの世界はもう完成されてるじゃないですか争わなければならない理由が何もない世界を生み出す最小の人数は2人2人が揃って初めて世界は生まれ恋は成就されるだからこの決闘は必要なんだ彼らがその人数を満たすためにかカグは人間未満だから1人を満たせないと言い出すんですか正解だよ家具は人間未満だから家具と人間じゃ2人を満たせないそんなのおかしいです愛し合う2人の身分なんて関係ないいいやあるよ本当に愛し合う2人の身分は関係ないの妻を持つ男との恋は許されるの夫を持つ女との恋は許されるの親との恋は許されるの子との恋は許されるの恋の許されない身分なんていくらでもあるシャノンもカノンもコマであるキミモモチロンアナタタチュアミンナカグタマシーがヒトリブニミタナイカラニンゲイカヒトウアイスルシカクワタダヒトツヒトリニミタツタマシーをモッティルコトだから愛し合う二人は世界を生み出せる例えば妻を持つ男はもう一人の女を愛する資格を持つと思うあるわけがない二人の女を愛せばその愛情は一人分に満たないそのような男に愛する資格はないね人を愛する資格のない人間や身分なんていくらでもあるの二人の愛の一切あれば関係ないそれは甘い愛の偽善僕たちはね恋をする資格を偽る人間を許さない世界を生み出す最小人数を満たせない人間以下の存在の恋を許さない僕たちの試練はそのためにある罪深き魂たちに一人分の魂を取り戻させ本当の恋ができるようにするためにゼパル様フルフル様僕たちの心の準備ができましたどうか決闘の合図を。The pair bidding farewell. 
quietly asked for the signal to be given. Zipar nodded silently, then walked to a place that could be seen by both of them. Prefer spoke in a voice quiet enough to avoid distracting the two duelists. いいえ、これは破綻する決闘。いいえ、これは破綻のための決闘じゃない。本当の恋を成就させるための決闘。私には、あなたたちの言っている意味が、わからない。いいえ、わかりなさい。これは本当に人を愛することができる人間が誕生する瞬間。意味がわからない。どちらが勝とうともどうか祝福してあげて。今彼らの家具としても日々が終わる。僕が一二の三を数える。三と同時に決闘開始だ。承知しています。同じく。二人が共に玉を外したら一度中断。再び玉を与え、もう一度背中合わせからやり直し。決着がつくまで繰り返したゼブラこの決闘過去に何度も見てるのかい。もちろん何度も見てきたよ。大抵何度の打ち合いで決着がつくんだい。ほとんどの場合。弾丸一発で決着がつくよ。みんな随分と拳銃の腕がいいんだな。違うよ。片方が外せば残った方は悠々と追い詰めて撃つことができる。初段をもし外したら、まず勝ち目はないね。しかし、ぼんやりしていれ
She is tricky. Jessica's distressed expression was enough to explain what had happened. Damn. Slowly, Shannon stood up. There was no bullet wound anywhere on her body. At the time of the signal, Shannon had thrown herself to the ground, dodging the bullet. It had been a bet. If Kanon had turned around and taken the time to aim carefully before shooting, then he would have shot her as she lay there. However, if Kanon shot as soon as he turned around, she would be able to dodge it. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. Kanon had also, law, uh, also made a bet. He did not underestimate Shannon's skill with a firearm. He was fully aware that if he assumed Shannon would be timid enough to let him shoot first, he would lose before even pulling the trigger. So, he had decided to shoot right away, and he had predicted that when he shot, Shannon would reflexively pull the trigger too. Since he intended to shoot right away, he would be more mentally prepared, so he was confident that he'd be able to shoot accurately. If Kanon had cautiously turned around, and Shannon had shot instantly with the strength of her will, then Kanon wouldn't even have been able to pull the trigger. So, no impatience on Kanon's part was to blame here. The two had simply given it their all, left their fates to the heavens and reached this result. まさかあの短気な姉さんが打たないなんてね。私も意外だった。あの慎重なカノン君が振り向き様なんてね。As Shannon quietly pointed the barrel at him, she slowly walked forward. She planned on cautiously closing the gap until she reached a distance from which she could hit with even more certain accuracy. And Kanon had already lost any means of fighting back. He could only try to dodge Shannon's bullet and place his bet on the second round. If they both thought this, then what happened next would turn that assumption on its head. <laughs> Kanon dashed forward like a tornado, bent over so low that he was almost crawling over his shadow. This duel could only be settled by a bullet. But he wasn't the only one who had a bullet. True, I see what he's going after. If he could steal Shannon's gun away from her, he could turn this fight around. And if Shannon calmly shot through Kanon, it would end. The odds that Shannon would miss, or that he could get close enough to her before she fired. Kanon would bet all the chips he had on them. Shannon could draw Kanon in two, uh, in until the last second, then shoot him from a closer distance. If she pulled the trigger just before he reached her, then even if she missed, they would just start again from the beginning. Shannon kept her gun pointing at Kanon's forehead as she compared those options until the final moment. She led her shot, calculating the distance he had already moved and the time it would take to pull the trigger. The goddess of fortune smiles impartially. <laughs> Surviving past the final moment, Shannon could have shot. Cannon barreled into her chest. He then swung his hand up and knocked the gun Shannon held into the air. Damn! That strike 
sent Shannon's gun flying into the sky. At the same time, Cannon's gun also flew from his hand and danced through the air. Oh god, they're gonna get them mixed up. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's, that's actually pretty cool. The two guns danced a rendezvous through the sky, reached their peak, and began to fall back down. By that time, neither knew whose gun was which. The two guns were exactly the same. Everything about them was identical. There was no way to tell them apart. However, there was one difference. One had a bullet. Ba -bow. The pair raised their hands to the sky, trying to grasp their fate, their miracle. It was as though they were trying to grasp the wings of a descending angel of miracles. The pair looked up at the brilliant sky and entrusted everything to the goddess of fortune. Then, they each grabbed one of the guns out of the air, hot damn! And after dancing a momentary rondo, their arms crossed each other. That's hot. That's hot, baby. That's hot. Even that had been like a dance. Then, they each pressed the barrel of their gun up against the other's forehead, both as steady as a rock. <laughs> oh, damn! My nipples are pointing, man! Damn! <laughs> Even they could not know which gun held the bullet. When they both pressed the triggers, one would die, and one would remain alive. The match would end. George and Jessica wouldn't know the result until that moment came. When Blaine's splattered brain soup. However, was it really impossible for the two holding the guns to know? The muzzle of Cannon's gun, which had already been fired, must have been warm. And the muzzle of the other gun, which Shannon had, hadn't fired, should have been ice cold. So, perhaps the pair of them did realize which gun was which. And yet, both expressions were solemn. The faces of those who would believe in their fate unswervingly until the moment the triggers were pulled.悲しまないで。私たちはすぐに黄金鏡で会えるよ。どうせよみがえる黄金鏡の前には本当にただの茶番。じゃあ、後ほど。うん。後ほど。さようなら。はあ。Well. <sighs> folks. Suddenly, Kanon fell to the floor as if he had had an attack of anemia. It had happened without any warning beforehand, so everyone rushed up to him in alarm. What they saw surprised them. There was a single strand of blood across his forehead, making it look as though it had cracked open. Wouldn't you like to know? Trying to get a look at the wound, Goda wiped Kanon's forehead with a handkerchief. However, his forehead was perfectly smooth, without any trace of a wound. 
and yet blood was pouring out, almost as though it was seeping through his skin. No wound. That's odd. Kenon's forehead was pale, and though his eyes were open, they had lost the light of the living. Just like a puppet whose strings had been cut. He had passed away. Jessica dashed up to Kenon's corpse, held it, pressed her forehead against his, and, as the still hot blood was smeared over her forehead as well, she sobbed. Shannon leaned against George's chest, as though the strings holding her up had been cut. George held her in silence. There was nothing in the Golden Rose Garden, except the wind that carried golden flower petals, and the sound of Jessica's grieving sobs. This じゅうぶんさ。おめでとう。残ったのは君たちだ。君たちを祝福するわ。でも忘れないで。愛を育むのがこれからのあなたたちの務め。この奇跡が生み出した恋の種をどうかしっかり育ててほしい。もちろんさ
As she yelled, Beto the Elder supported the body of her fading little sister. However, the two demons were smiling quietly. この生まれたんですか。どうして私はバトラさんを好きなの？好きになる理由を実は知らないんです。こんな時に何を？だって私、馬パトラさんを愛しなさい。愛されなさいって。それが目的で生み出されて。だからどうして？ バトラさんを私は好きなのか。よく知らなくて。人を好きになるのに理由など<笑> ああ、家庭的なことか案外苦手なんだよな。この通りガサツな性格だろ。レディーファーストとか女の子の前ではレギ正しくとかそういうのはさっぱり苦手なんだよな。だから強いて好みはって言われるとそうだな。ジェシカ
Become the kind of woman Bachelor wants. Take the golden hair he likes. Take the blue eyes he likes. Take this personality that matches his. And then, you must love him in my place. And then, if possible, you must be loved by him. I can no longer love him. Please, take my feelings that went unfulfilled. My feelings that I couldn't hold back. And make my wish come true. From this day forward, you are no longer the Rokunjima ghost that lives only to play pranks. From this day forward, you will become the master of this island and wait for the day that he comes to fulfill his promise. From this day forward, you will do this in my place. So, from this day forward, you will no longer be me. Please forgive me for pushing all of my worries onto you, while I alone try to find happiness. From this day forward, you have the right to hate everything. From this day forward, you are the Golden Witch, Beatrice. And one day, you will destroy everything, revive everything. You will bring blessings to all lovers. When that happens, I pray that you and I will both succeed in finding happiness. From this day forward, you will no longer be me. From this day forward, you will no longer be you. The two of us will split apart a single soul and share it. And though, of course, neither of us will possess a complete soul, I'm sure our dreams will be more numerous than those of humans. Let us be blessed, my dear Beatrice. No one will be able to see your form. However, I alone can see you. And if you are loved by many people, I'm sure that everyone will be able to see you someday. With love, they will be able to see us. I think I'm understanding the whole picture now. I think I am. I have two theories in my head. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which is which. Hmm. One's completely insane, while the other one's actually justified. Genji, who had been calm and silent through the whole thing, finally spoke. And... His were the most reasonable words spoken. If they called Nanjo here, then what? Not only was there no arm to take the pulse of, there wasn't even a forehead to feel the heat of. Like leftover snow on a spring day, Kenan's form had been, by now, not even a trace remained. His form had sparkled with a spray of gold, vanishing completely.
さよならお嬢様うんジェシカカノンさん僕たちはもう誰の目にも触れられないそれはつまり彼らの世界ではいないのと同じことだけれどもでもこうして僕たちはここにいるそうですね私たちはここにいる僕たちには体なんて肉でできた檻でしかないのだから悲しむ必要なんてないでも気の毒ですねジェシカさんだからこれが僕の罪なのさだから僕たち家具は恋をしてはいけなかったんだあなたはこれから姿を失ってもそして話しかけることができなくてももしもジェシカが僕に語りかけてくれた時その背中でそっとうなずくくらいのことしかできないけれどだからそばにいることにする<笑>良いことだと思います君はどうするパトラさんを密室から助けたいです密室<笑><笑>ビトウはなかなかにはなかなかにはなかなかにはなかなかにはなかなかなかなかなかなかなかかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかなかな密室なんか僕たちの妨げになるものかそそんなのいいんですかだってチェーンロックとかガムテープの封印とか赤き真実とかそうか君は駒の世界じゃなくてそれより上の世界の存在だったねだから僕たちとは違う制約があるらしいやれやれ<笑> Kenon stretched It looked as though he was about to head out somewhere カノンさん敗者同士の中さいいよ僕が行ってきてあげるよ僕がお屋敷の客室へ行ってバトラ様を外に出し入れ替わりでチェーンをかけて代わりにクローゼットに隠れるそれでいいかい気持ちは嬉しいですでもカノンさんはいとこ部屋から出たくてもエリカさんの封印のせいで Unlike the next room over the cousin's room containing Canon was a guaranteed complete closed room even counting the windows Not only did he have no way to save the battler, he couldn't even escape himself. Nara, Kimi no Maho de Bokuni, Chikarao Atate. What does she know? Maho de Bokuni Maho Kakete. Sana, what does she? Maho no Tsukai Katanate. 君は黄金の魔女ベアトリーチェじゃないのかい私は魔女ですけれどその魔法どころか密室トリックもわからないただの。やれやれいいかいベアトリーチェ一度しか教えないよ。魔女ってのはね魔女ってのは
魔女ってのは謎を解かされる側じゃない謎を解かされる側じゃないあ,あそうさどうして魔女が誰かの謎で頭を抱えてるんだい頭を抱えるのは魔女の仕事じゃないだろうじゃじゃあ魔女の仕事はボクの知ってる黄金の魔女ベアとびっきりの魔法で誰にもわからない難問を生み出して煙に巻いてあざ笑ってるやつを言うんだ誰にもわからない最悪の謎を作って徹底的に煙に巻いてこき下ろしてやれ相手に出された謎で頭を抱えるのはね君じゃない君の相手の仕事さ悩むのは私の相手の仕事後ろ宮バトラーをどうやって密室から出すかを悩むんじゃないチェーンロックの密室バカバカしいねなら君はそんなのよりもっともっととびっきりの最高の密室を作ってやってあいつらを悩ませてやろうじゃないか僕も手を貸すよ悩むのは私じゃなくてあいつらの方さ地獄の悪魔もひれ伏して絶句する最悪の密室トリックを無限に使いこなす無限の魔女ベアトリーチェの本当の恐ろしさをそろそろ連中も思い出してもいい頃だバトラさんの密室よりも最悪の密室僕らはもうそれを手に入れてるじゃないか最悪の密室In the back of Vito's mind, images she remembered began to flit by, one after another. The mansion, the guest house, the rose garden. Hell yeah! Trick, mistake, lure, taunt, trap, laugh together. Do you know about this trick? I think I've seen something like it in a book before. Vito's eyes! Opened wider and wider. Countless lights circled around her, swallowing her up. Ato mo ikko. Nandes? Sore. Mishits no majo no shaberi kata ni wa. Fusawashi ka nai na. Yappari, watashi wa. It's not happening. God damn it. <laughs> Audio, why? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>、uh, well, that's a letdown. Anyway. I guess that audio file was corrupt. That was awkward. The mirror ceremony ended without any problems, and the reception was held inside the cathedral. As the g o t o demons partied ferociously, <laughs> the laner could be seen leaning against a pillar, trying to escape from the noise. Being all ferocious, <laughs> then Gertrude appeared and whispered some kind of report to her. Oh? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just listening to the beat. Oh, yeah. This is my kind of jam, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Alone? Hmm. エリカ教にも忠心すべきかと存じ上げ奉る
わかりましたご中心申し上げますガートルードは式典警備庁に連絡です純戦闘配備 Prepare for battle Yeah, I love that Oh yeah Bring it home for daddy ご簡単中失礼いたします本式典警備庁でありますえ私なーになんかよだからはしゃぎすぎだって言ったのよさすがにシャンパンタワーでボーリングはやりすぎだね<笑>少し油を絞られてきなさい Skull the bitch <笑> Who said you could leave? ちょベルンほらもう何よ私なんかした Yes 受付に差し出し人不明のラムダデルタ教宛てと記された封筒が届けられましたおおしえですまあジャイアン私出地と差し出し人不明は全部ポイッシャー主義なの I'm sure you don't want to ignore this one そんなの捨てちゃってあああそれがこれなのですが Wait what the fuck? What the fuck? What's this up in the corners? Is that just on my screen? No, it's not. What the fuck? What the hell? It's like a rupture in time. What the fuck? Oh my god. I was right. The time theory. It's the paradox. What's that? This is... I'm going to tell you something. No. The two of the people are two of the people and I'm only. すでに観光令を与えました。The instant she saw that envelope, Lambda Delta snatched it away and lowered her voice. Burn Castell had walked away and was apparently making fun of Erica. Burn and of course Erica were both drunk. If they were left alone, they'd probably forget about this. It's true that this envelope has no sender written on it. However, that seal on it. In a gold leaf fulfills the same purpose. The seal is. <laughs> Lambda Delta hid behind a pillar, ripped the envelope open, took out its contents, and read them. Her eyes instantly started to glint, and she smiled like a kid who's just thought of a nasty trick. いかがしますか狙撃犯は赤色弾頭を携行していますご許可をいただければ装填命令を出します<笑>何言ってんのよ今日はどんだけ豪華な来賓が来てると思ってんのおお、oh, プロール、オッケー万一参列者に流れ玉が当たったらシエスタこの得体の新しい妹たちは向こう10年は工場から弾頭弾に直行しなきゃなんないくらいの責任になるわよ。Lower the guns! Oh my god! 了解。通常弾頭で対応するであります。I don't think that was the point. 煉獄の七姉妹には監視をつけますかいるわけないでしょだって七クイはバトラの、そして今やエリカの家具じゃない。どうして味方に監視をつけちゃうのとにかく警備を。まあそこそこにちゃちゃっと厳重にしなさい先ほどガートルード定石補佐官より準戦闘配備勧告を受けました理由は不明でありますガートルードが<笑>じゃあ勧告に従っちゃいなさいパーティーは賑やかな方がいいってことでしょトゥルー了解でありますダブルオーよりシエスタ17シエスタ38シエスタ45コード R 警戒発令レベル2で待機を伝達17コピー38コピー45了解そこでコピーといえばかっこいいのにねあ焦っちゃってついそうそう45ちょっとこっち来て
Oh, hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, still. Oh, yeah. ヒロエを中断されて退避されることを進言いたします。どうしたの、エリカ。何か余興に手違いでも。いいえ、我が主。どうぞ引き続きヒロエンをお楽しみください。あ、誰か。Erica didn't have time to hide her agitation. When Burkenstel saw this, she knew that their final late guest had finally arrived. Lucine, guest house, the Ugoki got the soil. Guest house? ゲーム版のことなんか今はくだらない話だわ。それが密室のいとこ部屋かな。カノン君が失踪したって。はあ？あんたわかってんの？いとこ部屋は扉もまでもかん。敵に封印されてる。完全密室じゃない。失踪な
then the lights finally turned on. Ooh. It was clear that during that blackout, Beatrice had snuck in somewhere nearby, possibly even inside the cathedral itself. The whispering demon attendants all realized it as well. Whose scheme was this, and what were they doing? Though it may have been imprudent, they were looking forward to this, and an excited chatter filled the cathedral. Don't! Gap! Why you do that to me? Gap! Hello! Ha! Like they can keep me away from here. <laughs> Trees. Tuscany. <laughs> Try to steal my line, boy. Demo Reacher, Batara, and Miss Tsumoi Tokobeamo. So stay you, it's Kano Seno at the Tonari Beamo Sibet, who she read at the Shimata. Do I at the Batara of Squida Skinano? Ojo Samanga, Nanika no Torik, X O Yoi Dekita to Kate Shimasho. Tonareba. それを襟掛けを突きつけるべく乗り込んでくるは必死。しかし、この大勢の死エスタ兵たちが相手ではまさかこんなに隠れていたなんて。無理だわ。縫い殺されてしまう。Rapeteers dashed all about the hall. Incredible that she could remain hidden and unnoticed with so many people around. エリカに一度だけ肉薄するチャンスがあれば、ゴブの勝負までは持ち込めるわ。なるほど、その手ですか。しかし、そのアイテムをお嬢様がお持ちだといいのですが、いつも面倒くさがって、いくらご用意しても
Number 00 was just coolly and calmly carrying out her duties. Oh, yeah. This is one fine ass wallpaper. Or thumbnail, actually. Eh, why not both? Eh, might be one later. That's better. I don't know. We'll find out, because so far, this is actually looking like a pretty damn good chapter. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Damn, that was instantaneous. <laughs> Only one fucking second. <laughs> the pair faced each other from either end of the long red carpet. However, in between them stood several dozen Chester Honor Guards. Oh, okay, no, seriously, like, I... I love the, uh, the butterflies right there. Oh my god, they're so freaking cool. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Why are her eyes like that? But, uh, Beatrice's. It's like she doesn't have a soul either. It's weird. Oh, there we go. The glint came back. <laughs> Beto laughed at a chuckle. Made the battler's eyes quiver slightly. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah! Yes! <laughs> that familiar face. Oh, yeah. And Nip's point. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she had an overpowering and evil presence about her, strong enough to make anyone shiver. Well, uh, I'm shivering about something. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Was there really any need to confirm her identity now? Who else could possess such an overwhelming presence? Beatrice! 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 At that moment, the two Chester troops standing behind Virgilia slumped over and fell to the floor. When they had touched the bases of their big ears from behind, it was clear that he had applied some sort of magic. Oh my god! Oh shit! We're getting s- we're- oh my god, I am getting spoiled this chapter, hell yeah, daddy. I don't- I don't know what- 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 fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm getting spoiled, I don't know what to choose for a thumbnail, son of a bitch. Just an instant before the Chester troops could fire, Vigilia raised her arms to the heavens. Her magical power, which was more than enough to remind all present what her name had meant at the height of her strength, became a spirit wave that exploded throughout the cathedral. Its shockwave made the stained glass windows shatter, and colorful glass shards poured down everywhere. However, all of the Chester Honor Guards, who didn't have spirit particle defenses, toppled over like a dolls. The ceiling snipers were defended and able to avoid a crash, 
but it would take several minutes before the system could be rebooted. That span of time should be enough to reach Erica. However, it didn't, sorry, it wouldn't be possible to defeat Erica in just a few minutes. There was no way they'd be able to carry Battler away in that time. What else could they use this precious time for? Buto dashed down the red carpeted path. She ran down the path to the grave which was lined by Chester troops lying there like corpses. She had called this place Hell. In that case, running from Hell to the grave was actually going backwards. Beto's figure dashing through the corpse-ridden path truly symbolized her resurrection. As she dashed, she snatched something white from Runaway's outstretched hand. There was no longer any blo anyone blocking her path to Erica. However, at that instant, a golden thread came from in front of her and rapidly sued through the red carpet towards her like a sewing machine. Who was responsible? <laughs> we sure do. Who was it? <laughs> you two little bitches. Forten was clever. She had predicted that Virgilia would go for a spirit particle attack and had folded her ears and 42, um, sorry, 45s over beforehand. So they were the only ones who weren't taken out. Okay, warn me before you do that. Oosh, my eyes. Once again, the golden sewing thread chased after Beto, weaving like a sewing machine. It was as though an undulating golden snake was shooting after. Undulating. What? <clears throat> Beto jumped sideways away from the red carpet, then dashed across the long table covered with beautiful food. Not the food! Oh my god! The gold snake chased her, sewing through the pure white tablecloth like a sewing machine and scattering dishes left and right. The goat attendants ran about wildly, trying to escape. The cathedral was wrapped in pandemonium. Okay, everybody panic! The pair of snipers attacking from the chandelier high above were much further away than Erica was, too far for Beto to reach. Furthermore, their position landed the entire cathedral inside their range of fire. Gap handed her the magazine. Uh, 45 always handed them over backwards, so 410 was a bit confused to have one handed to her the right way up. Eh? Too many nyeahs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No matter how distant a position they might take, it was no problem for the elusive Gap. Gap twisted their long ears up, then tickled them with their thumbs. With her thumbs up. Blah, words. <laughs> oh, the Chester's greatest weapon was also their greatest weakness. The two doubled over with laughter. <laughs> On the other chandeliers, even more powerful chiesters were slowly starting to move again. It would be impossible to buy any more time. Erika! 
Vito cuts through the crowd of scampering ghosts like Moses. Oh my god. Her goal was straight in front of her. The place where Erica and Bachelor were seated. Then a red barrier took form, blocking her path. It was the VIP guarding barrier that Gertrude had set up. She stepped forward and laid out a last line of defense to block Beto's path. As the oldest of the seven sisters of Purgatory, Lucifer stood in waiting behind the bride and groom. She wanted to save Beto. If she could just distract Gertrude for a moment, the wall would disappear. However, the seven sisters were furniture. They served the territory lord. So they couldn't move to help Beto. Delaner glanced over at Lucifer. There was a coercive tint to her eyes. That's right. Hell yeah. And she's scarfing down like the piglet she is. Okay. The red absolute barrier flickered for just an instant. Beelzebub's stake had pierced to Gertrude's shoulder, and her concentration was wavered. But it didn't break, and this pop-up, I swear to god, not the time, thank you. <sighs> Goddamn no notifications! Okay. Slowly and expressionlessly, Gertrude turned to, to look at Lucifer. Oh. エリカ教にその指示はなきなりと知りたまえ。あるわ。ま、我らがアルジの命令よ。オーシー。物家の主に何を命令できるというなりや。バイシーウィルパワーマザファカー。物聞かずとも。それを察するが。Hell yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Eh. Oh. Ah. Ah. The seven stakes shot at Gertrude at once. Gertrude had chosen to take all of those direct attacks, refusing to abandon the barrier until the last moment. Though she was resilient enough to be called a literal Iron Maiden, and received no damage at all, it was more than enough to make her flinch and lose control of the barrier. Bito shot through the scattered red fragments of the barrier, and she was finally right in front of the bride, her rival, Erica. However, there stood the final shield protecting Erica. Death sentence Delainar. There are quite a few emotions in there. Hmm. Which one is the real one, eh? Siesta 20, God damn it. Siesta 127, no. All of you stop that reactivation at once. Stop it. <laughs> Time over <laughs> Damn it. 
リーチェ幸運をあそうドドラノール時計ドラノールエーノックスそなたの出番はないあなたを否定する赤き真実をベルンカステル教より賜っていますここがあなたの墓場となり残念です I don't know what Burnkestel has allowed her to say. However, I don't need to sit around and let that long sword tell me. So, not at all, out of the top, pretty to us on the arrows. Danga, you are a doke. There's no time. The Chesters have already finished reactivating. I'm only living on a bit of borrowed time. Kikuno, Anata, no hodes. Devon, Machigai, the hour in a stream shaga, Anata, this. Delena's red longsword cut a large arc of absolute denial, which headed straight for the crown of Beto's head. However, in that instant, there was a thunk, and the curve missed slightly. Beto didn't let this good fortune go to, uh, go to waste. What the fuck? Okay, why is that? Okay. <laughs> sure. She's <laughs> just... Okay. She slipped past the longsword, knocked a Delaner aside, and finally stood right in front of Erica. This time, not a single person stood in her way. Here we go. What the fuck? Are you gonna share that? The commotion quieted down. However, no one shot. Why? They could have shot if they'd wanted to. All of the Chester troops had completely targeted her and removed their safeties. Of course, all of them had finished reactivating. However, they hesitated to pull the trigger. Delena's expression grew grim. Then, she quietly put her red longsword away. After all, Erica would have to make a decision. If she decided to ignore it, they could shoot kill. However, if Erica picked that up, they must not do so. So they couldn't pull the triggers until Erica decided. Lambda Delta pointed, still chomping down popcorn. It was hard to see from the balcony. Bito had thrown something like a white handkerchief at Erica. It had fallen to Erica's feet. What was that white thing? <laughs> the thing that had hit Erika in the face and fallen to the floor was a white glove that Bito had gotten from Ranabe. Hitting someone with a glove like that could only mean one thing. It was... Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Zetar! This is what? Dula! What is the meaning of this? This is... It's a joke! Bingo was his name! If you open it, you can use it to get rid of it. Pick it up, you filthy casual. What? If you open it, you can kill the Siesta. 
拾う必要ないじゃない拾わなくてもいいさでも決闘を逃げたおめえを僕らと参列の悪魔処刑は3回全てに知らしめるだろうねうー Everybody loves a little bit of gossip Especially when it's juicy 決闘を逃げた臆病者の名を永遠にね Beatrice waited firmly and composedly. If Erica just kicked it away, then at that very instant, the Chester sisters would probably all fire at once, turning her into golden embroidery. So, Erica didn't have to pick it up. However, she could not afford to be afraid of picking it up. After all, she was the true victor, who had. Defeated the battler's closed room trick and logic. If she was the victor, she should have nothing to fear. So, if she was afraid of doing it, it would prove that she still felt a tinge of doubt about her victory. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. That's not a good thing. I don't want to kill you. だがそなたは拾うさへえ Damn this music baby Straight bombing、mm. どうしてです It's making this moment even better わらわがそなたにぴったりの最高の土産を持ってきたからだそなたはそれが知りたいだから拾うさ興味ないです。さようなら。ヒーローウサ、わらわが持ってきた。バトラの客室などくだらぬ。もっとシンプルで単純で、絶対に解けぬ密室を。そなたは聞きたいはずさ。絶対。そなたはわらわの挑戦を受けたいはずさなぜなら<笑>そなたは探偵だからだ。